Graffiti just transcends all all boundaries. You know, you have kids from every type, every walk of life, every ethnicity, every economic background. What's up, everyone? I'm Gio, teaching artist at Sun Valley Youth Art Center. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a couple of elements of street art, like black booking. <laughs> all right, thank you for joining us for another virtual black book session. I want to show you some examples of the bubble letter font style. I want to take you through the process of making a bubble letter alphabet. You can download this worksheet at the Sun Valley Youth Art Center Facebook page. For materials, any type of paper and pencil will work. You will need two markers and a whiteout pen. Alright, let's get started with this alphabet. I'm using a regular number two pencil, so if I mess up, I can erase. I'm going to keep my bubble letter alphabet as simple as possible and as close to the original structure of the letters. I'm just making some minor adjustments to make them into round, organic shapes. Okay, I'm going to start doing this E, almost like the number 3, just backwards. So as you can notice, I'm keeping my letters the same size from the baseline, which is the bottom of the letter, to the cap height, which is the top of the letter. I want to have some uniformity within the alphabet, so the spacing of each letter is important. Alright, finishing up this H, starting off the I, this is going to be lowercase. So in street art, we can mix the lowercase with the uppercase, doing the K. L, making sure that the same size, doing this M, remember the M and the N are very similar. So keeping the same shape at the bottoms of the letters. You can see the Q and the O are very similar, and the R is going to take the similar shape as the P, just with an extra leg. All right, let's get through this whole alphabet. Now that you see my process, hopefully this helps you. This is a perfect alphabet to learn for beginners. I also suggest to download the worksheet so you can practice the fluid movements of the letters. So that was the first step, drawing in my letters with the pencil. So if I made a mistake, I would be able to erase and fix. All right, now I'm gonna start inking my letters using a fine point Sharpie marker. Starting with the A. And during this whole process, I will be adjusting any letter if needed.
Also keep in mind that the ink marker is a different material than a pencil. It's a lot stronger and if you let it sit for too long on the paper, it will seep into it. So to avoid that from happening, let's try to make the letter in one single line if possible. This will give us a consistent line weight. So I'm just following along my pencil marks, outlining the shapes of these letters. Right, doing this M, the very similar N. Remember the O is very similar to the Q and the P is very similar to the R. Alright, we're almost done. Let's get through this whole alphabet. Just inking these letters. Next step is going to be erasing. All right, now my next step is to erase all pencil marks so that all you see is the outline from the fine tip marker. It's gonna leave me with just a bold outline of the letters. Now that I have a better idea of what my letters look like, I can go ahead and get started on my next step, which is going to be the 3D. You can see my bubble letters have a 3D on the left side, and for that we will need to understand perspective, which is a visual illusion of dimension. You can download this alphabet worksheet and practice. And then once you know how to make all these letters, you can write any word you want. All right, so now for a short lesson in perspective. Make a vanishing point that all corners of your geometric shape will meet. Now I'm cutting into the perspective lines to create the cube shape. So I'm shading in to make it more visible. The same rules apply for organic or round shapes. All the edges meet to one point. So now I'm cutting into the perspective lines so that these circles become cylinders and gives us an illusion of perspective or a different dimension. So if you apply these same rules of perspective to letters, you will be able to create any type of dimension from any type of angle. All right, so now that we've gone over perspective, I wanna show you a demo of me practicing my name in bubble letters and using the rules of perspective to add a 3D to the letters. I'm using a red marks a lot ink marker. I'm using it to outline. You may want to use a pencil first though. All right, now I'm going to start filling in my letters with the same color 
as you notice, all my strokes are going in the same horizontal direction. I suggest that you don't color in going in different directions because it makes your fill in look messy. Alright, now I'm just gonna clean up some of my lines. I'm gonna re outline this a little bit. Make it look a little bit cleaner. Alright, now I'm gonna start outlining with a black round tip Sharpie marker. Following all my lines. Now I'm going to add my 3D since we've gone over perspective it should be easier for you to understand where to place the dimension. All right, I'm just gonna go around and clean up some of these lines. All right, now I'm gonna be adding some highlights with my whiteout pen and cleaning some stuff up. Now I'm gonna be doing a outline around my letters. I also will be adding some details around the letters. I call it the bubble splat treatment. All right, this is my Geo Bubble Letter Demo. I really like putting these in black books. I've practiced them a lot, so they are super simple for me to do. So if you're a beginner, I suggest to keep it simple. I like how legible and clean these look, so it's a good place to start. These bubble letters are like warm-up exercises for me. I like to do them before I get started with any illustration project. One of my favorite parts is adding the highlights. Also adding the bubble splats that go around the letters. I added that punctuation mark at the end just for some detail, give it a little bit of character. I've shown you my process and shared a couple of resources like the alphabet and perspective worksheet. Now you can practice your bubble letters and the perspective which gives our letters dimension. Remember, a bubble letter style is an essential skill for any street artist. It's one of the basic foundations of this art form. All right, that concludes our virtual black book session. If you went ahead and tried it, upload your alphabet. I'd like to check it out. Don't forget to hashtag us at Sun Valley Youth Art Center. All right, until next time, peace.